Hello, awesome readers. Today we're going to be reading "Trick or Treat Chicken Feet" by Brenda Lee. This is Brian, the pig in jeans. Brian and his best friend Nathan are super excited about Halloween, but there is just one small problem. Halloween is tonight. But Brian does not have a costume for trick or treating. Should he be a superhero? Nope, he was a superhero last year, and the year before, and the year before, the year before. Should he be a ghost? Nope, it would be too hard to see. Should he be a box monster? Nope. His mom might recycle him by mistake. After looking for a while, Brian finds just the right costume. He is going to be a chicken for Halloween. Wait a minute! Where are the chicken feet? Brian cannot be a chicken without chicken feet. Are the chicken feet behind the pillow? Nope, just bananas. Are they in the washroom? Nope, it's a pineapple. Uh, why is there a pineapple in the washroom? Are they in the school's lost and found? Nope, just a frog, a fish, a frog dressed like a fish, and other random stuff. Brian sees Mulan at the library. Mulan, have you seen my chicken feet? Brian asks. No, Mulan responds. Now, can you put me down? I'm reading. Brian sees Jasmine in the classroom. Jasmine, have you seen my chicken feet? Brian asks. These are mine. Jasmine replies frantically, pointing at her own feet. Maybe my chicken feet are in the ball pit. Brian says. Yeah, Nathan agrees. Let's play. I mean, let's look. Nathan corrects himself. Nope, the chicken feet are not in the ball pit. At this point, Brian is very upset. His costume is not going to be perfect. Hey, you can make your own chicken feet, suggests Nathan. Good idea, Nathan. I can make my own chicken feet, Brian says. I got my hammer, my saw, my screwdriver, my. Uh, I was just thinking of my mom's dishwashing gloves. Nathan interrupts. Ooh, Brian is impressed. Brian slips on the rubber gloves, and ta-da! He finally has a pair of chicken feet. Now, where did I put my chicken head? The sun has set. The moon is lit. Brian and Nathan are finally ready for some trick or treating on this Halloween night. Brian and Nathan ring the first doorbell. Trick or treat! They say as the door opens up. Mr. Hopkins gives each one a candy. Thank you! The kids say. Trick or treat! I love those chicken feet. Thank you. Trick or treat! Thank you. Trick or treat! Thank you. Trick or treat! Thank you. What a fun night! Brian and Nathan are super happy after getting lots of treats. Then they notice a little frog who was not having a fun night. What's wrong, little frog? Brian asks. My bag broke and all the candies fell out. Now I can't bring my treats home," says the little frog. Brian and Nathan look around for a new bag, but they cannot find one. Brian thinks for a moment. He looks down at his feet. He has an idea. He pulls off his chicken feet. He collects all the candies from the ground and puts them inside his yellow rubber gloves. Here you go," Brian says, 
Now you can bring your treats home. Thank you so much, the little frog exclaims happily. At the end of the night, Brian's chicken costume is once again missing his chicken feet. But he realizes that being kind feels even better than having the perfect Halloween costume. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can read together again.